वेलकम टू द मिशन स्पेस एक्स क्रूज सिक्स लॉन्च और आप देख सकते हैं क्रूज को ले जाया जा रहा है लॉन्च पैड की तरफ नासा स्पेस एक्स क्रूज सिक्स मिशन फ्रॉम लॉन्च कॉम्प्लेक्स थ्री नाइन ए इज अबाउट टू पॉइंट फाइव आर्स अवे और यहां पर आप मिलने वाले हैं मिशन स्पेशलिस्ट एंड्रियो फाइडे पायलट बूडी हॉवर्ग कमांडर स्टीफन बोवन एंड मिशन स्पेशलिस्ट सुल्तान अलनियादी Meanwhile scientists and engineers are preparing for Artemis 2 and the mission will send four crews around the moon in 2024 lekin usse pehle a proper drill is going on that how they will recover the crews after splashing down of Artemis 2 mission Now the crew has been reached to the launch pad and the crews at the International Space Station are also preparing for welcoming the crew 6. At the ground level team has been checking all the weather conditions and other stuffs for the launch of crew 6. Here you can see NASA Space X Crew 6 crew members are now ready to board the Dragon spacecraft. Now you can see crew mates boarded their seats are configured in upright position. And later prior to the closure of the spacecraft hatches, the seats will be rotated into the reclined position for the flight. Now the helping crew are checking the safety equipment and the suit prior to the lift off. the helicopters outside performing a roll and checking out all the things like wind speed weather conditions and all now everything looks good by the safety check crew you can see the faces of the astronaut everything is looking good and fine you can see the smile on their faces and can understand that how is the situation right now what they are really feeling so everything is looking fair and fine for now and everybody is waiting for the lift off here you can see the astronauts are waving their hands to safety check crews who are going out from there Now the fuel loading is completed on the stage second and the liquid oxygen loading has begun. Weather conditions remain extremely favorable. And outside the people are so much excited to see the lift off view. As everything were going great but at the moment I have to say I'm sorry that something has been announced by NASA and uh, the mission has been cancelled so you can directly hear it from them that why it has been cancelled and again uh, we're getting that live view from inside the dragon they are passively waiting it's the ground teams monitoring uh, the detanking process which we're really just minutes away from finishing in the meantime we continue to keep that launch escape system armed just to make sure the crew is safe through the process now after that detanking is complete one of the next steps will be to disarm uh, the uh, launch escape system when the falcon 9 is not fueled um, the it's in a safe configuration to go ahead and disarm that and go through the next series of steps including that crew access arm swinging back 
and uh, retrieving the crew. Now, Crew-6 will have another opportunity to launch. Right now, we're tracking a 24-hour turnaround uh, for the next launch attempt. Of course, the teams on the ground will have to evaluate and continue to evaluate uh, the uh, issue that was identified as part of today's launch scrub. And again, that was a, a ground issue identified with the TTEB ignition fluid uh, that allows the uh, first and second stage engines to ignite and propel the Falcon 9 and the Dragon into orbit. So we'll continue to talk and discuss about the issues before going ahead and proceeding with that next attempt but we have that identified. Uh, if we were to proceed with a launch attempt tomorrow, uh, again, today's launch attempt, we were counting down to 1.45 a.m. Eastern time for tomorrow for a 24-hour scrub. It's just about 24 hours, a little shy of that. So we'd be looking at about 1.22 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow uh, for uh, our next attempt. 